This is my pickled fire chicken. I highly recommend it. There's two skeeters. One there. There's one up there. Y'all about to die. Yeah, that's right. You just got Daisy duped. Dude, you have birds on you. Honey, do you need to borrow my hairbrush? I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, I head up to Yellowstone National Park and continue my quest in finding a husband. We make friends with the wildlife, make enemies with the bugs, and stay at our first campsite. Subscribe for daily videos. So in part one of this video, I asked you guys what you thought this guy wanted. Was he A, trying to get my number, B, kicking me off his lawn, or C, asking if he could help me take an Instagram photo. Well, some of you guessed right. He was kicking me off his lawn. So this is apparently a private drive. There were no signs that said private drive. We're not quite in the national park yet, but I was like, dude, if you want my number, you can just ask for it. You don't have to like pretend to kick me off of your land and stuff. Like it's totally cool. I'm not gonna bite you unless you like that. We just got kicked out guys. I guess it's a private drive, so we can't be over there. It's probably for the best though. When no one was getting a little aggressive, do you think we should stay here and then he'll have to call my cop husband and have to come arrest me? So I'm heading back to Montana soon. We have a family reunion and I don't know about you guys, but I have to get into a mental space before I see my family. I love them to death. And also, I need to meditate like nine times a day. Um, but I just wanted to share this with you because it's one of my favorite podcasts and I rewatch it often. Any interview that Lewis Howes does with Joe Dispenza, I highly recommend. It always puts me in a good frame of mind and reminds me to manage my emotions and notice my triggers when they come up. I don't know, it's just, it's really good. He has some meditations too. Some of them are a little like too new agey for me, but some of them are really Really good as well so I would recommend if you're into meditation and energy healing I guess you should look them up it's really really good I was feeling a little bit of like just certain triggers coming up already I'm not even back home yet basically what you focus on you feel so I'm going to focus on and nurture and gravitate towards the relationships that are feeling good to me this trip we're not going to focus on any negativity we're not going to focus on any past dramas or triggers I just want to have a really good time that's my intention going home and seeing family. I want to have a good time. I want everyone to be happy. If someone's not happy, I'm just gonna step over here. Save the drama for your mama. There shouldn't be drama, but just sometimes going home is very triggering for me and I just don't want that experience. Long story short, the energy that you take into something is the energy that you're gonna get out of something and yes, I have a lot of triggers going back home. Oh, I just noticed my nails match my shorts. And no, I'm not wearing a bra. I'm all about the no bra until my nipples are pointing to the ground. Like, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm not ashamed of my boobies, and you should not concern yourself with the state of my bra situation. Thank you. Anyways, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, <laughs> family drama. So that's the last time I'm talking about family drama. I'm just gonna talk about all the fun things and the good food and the laughs and the great times we're going to enjoy together. So that is the intention I'm taking into that. If I ever feel like I'm slipping out of that emotional, uh, loving feeling, I'm gonna come sit in Macintosh here. I'm gonna meditate as long as I need to meditate, but bringing big, massive love to my family and to this adventure. There we have it. All right, it is now time for lunch. I'm getting really hungry. And I was like, why am I hungry? It is 3.15, that's why. Time flies when you're taking Insta photos out in the wild, that's what I always say. But we came prepared. I got some figs from Trader Joe's. The only thing is I have to wash them off or they make my lips itchy, I don't know why. And then a spinach salad with blue cheese candied pecans or pecans, whichever way you say it. It's all good. I'm gonna need some protein later though. Just stopping for a quick lunch with a quick view. And I'm gonna try and figure out where I'm sleeping because there's no stealth camping in Yellowstone National Park according to I Overlander. So I'm gonna see if I can hop on and find a campsite tonight. Day of in the summer, probably not likely, but we gotta try. I got a campsite, y'all. I wanna give a huge shout out to Ray Mo. She not only contributed a tank of gas for Mac, but the campsite is also on her today. So thank you, girl. I appreciate it. Helping me find a beautiful place to park. So excited about it. And we're going to the Bridge Bay Campground. It's $28. I swear last year when we camped here, it was ten dollars but who knows i think i got an rv sized campsite because that's all that was left but thank you Raymo. appreciate you so much and right now i'm gonna eat and get on the road these rosemary almonds from trader joe's are the bomb and how are my teeth are they good great 
Okay, boys. Jesus. Oh, so much spinach. Can't control it. I'm having issues. I'm gonna hop back there and make a tea real quick. I would just like to have a beverage for the road because I like doing this motion and I'll just eat like 8,000 calories of cashews without thinking about it. So it always helps me to have a little beverage. I, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna go brush my teeth. This is ridiculous. Always gotta put the chapstick on after lunch. Always gotta do it. So someone was knocking the honey bird's bees the other day. Were we talking about honey or the original? Cause I do agree. The original bird's bees is disgusting. It smells like what I would imagine the back of your kneecap smells like after a long day's hike. It smells a little armpit odory, but this one's actual honey scented. It is just delightful. You guys wanna hear a story? So check this out. I found the perfect system for my phone. I put it on my fridge right in this little crack because it was like sliding off every second. But now, every time I open my fridge, it goes in. And yesterday I was looking all over for my phone. I was looking for my phone for like an hour and a half. Like I know it's in here because it was playing my music. And I finally found it in the fridge. And that concludes my phone in the fridge story. Let's go. Another outfit change, and I've only gone like five miles. Mac, Mac needs to come with her. It's just so pretty. I just want to hang out here all day. Ooh, that's kind of a shot. Like it's reflecting off of my hand. That is so pretty. I don't want to leave. I do kind of want to do a little hike at Yellowstone Park tonight. That we have a two-hour drive. It is now 4:45. So let's actually get on the road now. Goodbye, my love. Good God, I just want to stay here all day. But we have things to do people to see. It's Father's Day tomorrow, so. Going to see the pops. Hi. Hi. How are you? I can see the back side of your Oh, back. sure, yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. today. Yes, thank you so much. Have fun out there. Thank you. So cute. Okay, we were on a rude park ranger streak for a bit, but the last few have just been so delightful. I tell you what. Have you hugged a park ranger today? Hug a park ranger. They work really hard. We just went through the Grand Teton entrance. This drive is almost meditative, and I like started to tear up. It's so pretty. boner batman it's so pretty out here there's so many wildflowers it's very distracting while i'm driving hi, hi how's it going do you need a map yes thank no you no worries out of toilet paper. We have a situation. I already pee in a cup for God's sake. Please don't take away my toilet paper. Excuse me, Yellowstone, where is your Target? Where is your Walmart Superstore? I would even go into a Walgreens if need be. Oh, there's probably toilet paper in that little shack of an outhouse. How cute is that? Oh my God. I had to pull off the side of the road, guys. Check it out. Hello, friends. Oh my god, look at the little babies over there. Can you guys see them? Oh my god, they're so cute. This is so beautiful. Look at those two. Yeah, they're siblings for sure. For sure. Yellowstone Park is so magical. Honey, do you need to borrow my hairbrush? You have a little dandruff. It's okay, I still love you. Just take care of yourself, honey. Okay. He's like, that's how I feel about you, bitch. Run, Forrest, run. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. The little babies look more like cows than they do buffalo to me. I just want to stay here all day. Can we just stay here all day? He's just over there meditating because the rest of his family is driving him crazy right now. I get you. I understand. <gasps> There's so many babies over here. I love you guys. I love this little guy, look at him. He's so cute, he's just like prancing all over the place. Look at these guys over here. They are not vibing with the people who parked right behind us, not vibing. Dude, you have birds on you. Brush your hair. Do you need some shampoo? Go Bessie, go Bessie. Get out of the road. 
food. That is dangerous, honey. Bessie was definitely triggered at the family dinner and she was like, I'm fucking out. I'm out. I need to go meditate and I'll be right back. BRB. By the way, that was totally a man buffalo. Sorry, Bessie. No disrespect. <laughs> Stopping for a little snack. We've got this nice pretty view happening. Lovely. Looking good, Yellowstone. I just wanted more tea. And we are doing oatmeal. Got these little maple oatmeal cups from Trader Joe's. I was craving something sweet. Like I wanted cookies and I was like, ooh, I would die for an oatmeal raisin cookie right now. And then I was like, oh, look at you, Trader Joe's coming in handy. It's taking a little second. A little time out from driving, stretching the legs, doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. You know how it goes. So I got checked into my campsite and I'm gonna head down and check out some geysers. The sun's about to set. I'm just gonna go to the ones that are closest to my campsite just to make it easy. It's a direct shot so I won't be getting lost. Let me pay attention to where I'm going real quick. Okay, please God, don't let me miss that exit. Bridge Bay area, Bridge Bay area, Bridge Bay area. Bridge Bay area it's right past a bridge it's right past a bay in this general area bridge bay area got it okay i changed my mind again i was gonna go to these geysers because last year we showed up at sunset it was absolutely gorgeous i'll show you some of that footage now <laughs> but then I was not feeling it anymore. Oh, my oatmeal cup is driving me insane. It's just slipping and sliding all over the place. I need to find garbage cans, throw some stuff away. You know, hashtag bin. <laughs> Getting out to stretch the legs a little bit. I feel like this would be a pretty sunset. Park Mac over there for a bit. Yeah, I like it, I like it. It's pretty peaceful. I kind of feel like I'm at the beach. So dinner tonight is nothing fancy. I'm craving protein like crazy right now. So I'm gonna have some chicken. Just gonna make like a chicken salad thing. I have mustard and mayo and pickles. Just gonna chop it up and throw it in there and eat it with a spoon. I thought I had crackers, but I forgot. I kind of ate them all on my road trip yesterday. I'm like really hungry for protein right now though. So. That's what we're gonna do. Ew, I forgot about the chicken water. What are we supposed to do with our chicken water? Ew. So gross. Heck yes, we're putting in fire sauce. We spicy like that. I don't know, I'm craving protein and spicy stuff. I think I want Thai food. That's what I'm craving, but you know what? This'll do. Let's give it a try. It's 
pretty good. And I didn't chop up my pickle because I don't want to clean my knife. So we're just going to toss the pickles on top like so. This is my pickled fire chicken. I highly recommend it if you're in a bind. Oh, hello. I did go to Trader Joe's and I got some salads and I already ate them. But I'm all about the no-cook meals. I think I'm going to go home, spend Father's Day with my dad. I was going to spend a few days here, but my dad told me there's a dinner tomorrow at 4 o'clock. So definitely going to drive up for that. So we'll see Yellowstone. So I just looked at my Jackery to see how much it charged while I was driving. I was super proud of myself. I remembered to plug it in. What the hell? It was 3%? What the hell, Jackery? And then I noticed the plug wasn't all the way plugged. That probably means I can't make coffee in the morning. Very, very sad. Very, very sad day. I might have to whip out my little propane burner tomorrow morning. <laughs> That's gonna be a scene. At least I'll be at a campsite. Another change of plans. We're going back to the campsite. Freaking Winona. It's windy. I kind of just want to set up shop. That's the thing with van life. You feel like you need to be doing something like extraordinary every single day. And while this was a lovely spot to eat my pickled fire chicken, I'm ready to be all snuggled up and cozy and start my vlog for tomorrow. So I can just relax with my dad on Father's Day. So let's go do that. Also, I peed in a venti Starbucks cup literally seven times today. And I am not about that life right now. You know when you're looking forward to an outhouse that you have a situation? Hashtag van life. Plus we added toilet paper, so. I'm not just gonna drip dry my goddamn van. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, just kidding. I can't make up my mind today. I have nature ADD. It just seems way more calm here, so. Hold off the side of the road. Gonna edit for a bit. See if we can catch sunset. I'm about ready to pop squat though. I'm right here, right now. No. There's my heater in my van. No. Bad. Bad mosquito. Okay, I just put sweats on. Like eight mosquitoes came in my van. I killed three of them. And then one just stung me like through my pants on my butt. Fuck this sunset, I'm out. I'm not dealing with skeeters all night. Plus I really can't edit for that long because my computer's gonna die because my Jackery is dead. Fun road adventures. We love this for ourselves. Mosquitoes. There's two of them up here. All right, you're about to die, Skeeter. You about to die. I dare you to land, I dare you. It's gonna be Skeeters in my shorts. Good Lord, this is beautiful though. I just can't with the Skeeters right now, I just can't. I have to come back to Yellowstone and stay for a while though. Just saying, and just saying. Back at the campsite. All right, Loopsy, Loopsy, we're going to Loopsy. Do not tell Loopsy we were talking about her. Van life's kind of perfect for me because I'm kind of afraid of wild animals. So I get to enjoy them and observe them from the safety of my gigantic van. Wow, the sky's pretty right now. Now I want to be back over on the water. Why do I always want to can't have the skeeter? Oh, fuck. Whoa, I almost hit a parking lot. There's two skeeters. There's one there. There's one up there. Y'all about to die. Yeah, that's right. You just got short whacked. You just got daisy duped, asshole. You wanna fight about it? I dare you to bite me. I'll murder you and your whole family. Whoa. This campground's like a free for all. Kind of fun, I guess. I'm going like th three miles per hour the whole time. There are lots of little babies around. 156, I'm coming for you. Oh my God, it's right by the bathrooms. Hallelujah and amen. Oh, home sweet home. Pee pee station, sweet pee pee station. It's actually really nice having a camp spot. I'm gonna go for a little walk and stretch the legs, get some steps in. I feel like all I've been doing is sitting. Driving and editing. Maybe we can make some friends. There's lots of sprinter vans. So right now, my double chin and I are editing a video. You can't lay down and edit videos without a double chin. It's humanly, physically impossible. I'm wearing my blue light glasses because I've had a lot of screen time today, earlier. And this is what the rest of my evening is looking like right here. If you made it this far in the video, I want to switch it up a little bit today. I want to know what is your middle name? My middle name is Marie, and I've heard that Marie and Anne are the two most popular American middle names. So I want to know what yours is and if there's a cool story behind it. I'm named after my great grandma. Her name was Marie. That's my cool story and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, I'm kind of spent. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to edit. Let's pray. If you check back for tomorrow's video, let's pray that there's coffee in the morning because if there's not, you're going to see grumpy Dana. Dana Zilla. Dana Zilla will be out tomorrow morning. If she does not get her morning, Java. No, it's not that bad. I can control myself. It's just, I don't want to. I was just thinking, I think, ow, I think I'm gonna poke my eyeball out. I was thinking this 
lifestyle is like an introvert's dream because i love being out and about i love doing all the fun stuff but i'm kind of a homebody and when i'm out and about i love everything during the day but at night i'm like i just want to be in my cozy bed i literally get to do that every single night i get to go adventure experience all the new crazy fun stuff but i think having this consistency and having just my little space makes it doable for me i love my little cocoon i'm definitely an introvert like some people think that means you're not sociable i actually ran into a guy in moab and he was telling me about this book i think i wrote it down let me check i can't find it but we had a really good conversation about how we're both introverts and how a lot of people think that means you're just like shy and not sociable and awkward and like there's like a stigma about it but i think the major difference is how do you get charged up do you get charged up alone or when you're with people and for me i love being around people i love socializing and interacting but i always feel like i need to recharge afterward i need to like hibernate i need my own space i need to like write music or be creative or just like really do my thing write my journal it's just kind of my nature so i want to know in the comments are you an introvert or an extrovert and is it like completely one or the other and if you know of any good books on the subject i would love i've got an audible credit so just saying anyways thank you guys so much for watching and for all your love and support throughout this whole journey you guys are hilarious in the comments you always keep me entertained and motivated to keep vlogging and doing this whole journey so i really appreciate all the love i'm feeling it and send it right back to you if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you loved it share it with your friends tell your mother your father your uncle your cousins they need to know that there's this random girl traveling around in a van talking to herself all day tell the people <laughs> all right guys see you tomorrow